So what I'm feeling is there's been some people, it may have been several people throughout your life, that may be a group of people and also some specific individuals in your path who have mistreated you. These are people that were overlooking you, like they weren't taking you seriously. They weren't seeing the real you, okay? You may not have um, been as confident as you are now because you've been through a major transformation. You are going through um, intense healing, knowing who you are, knowing your worth. And in the past, you may have been blinded somewhat to who you really are. Um, and I feel like there have been a lot of people who have overlooked you. Like they didn't take you seriously. They didn't bother to... Um, look any deeper into you and you felt kind of invisible you felt taken for granted some people may have used and abused you um, but now they are seeing they're witnessing this complete transformation within you and they're absolutely speechless okay like they can't believe that who you really are like that they didn't ever see that, they didn't ever know that, you've really shocked them. There could be a pattern in your life where you've really shocked people, like they're really taken aback, they really look surprised. Um, if, you know, they discover even a little bit of who you really are. For some of you, you could be withdrawn or introverted or shy, so you felt very overlooked and people just didn't notice you or didn't, give you a chance let's dive deeper they're just like shocked though to to see who you really are some of them are feeling kind of foolish because they are thinking back to how they treated you or what they said to you or how they interacted with you and then they're like god like they're sort of paranoid now like because they didn't, it's like they didn't think much was really going on in your head. So they would have been misbehaving um, in some kinds of ways or acting foolishly or immaturely. And then now they're looking back and they're thinking, oh God, you, you must have been seeing all of this clearly. Like they're paranoid about what did you see about them? Because they thought that you weren't conscious enough to see like, Th their manipulations or the way that they were acting foolishly or immaturely or just mistreating you but they know that you saw it all okay and now they're feeling paranoid and thinking back to past situations past conversations with you we have the hierophant so yeah, a lot of people are feeling foolish because they're now seeing you as like this divine being or they're seeing you as powerful in some kind of way. Maybe it's your intelligence, maybe it's your intuition, maybe it's all of these things or they're, they're feeling the, the power of your energy because you realise this now within yourself. You've embodied your truth, you've embodied your confidence and some people, I do feel like they're feeling foolish with the Hierophant here. I feel like you may even be opening people's eyes. You may be mind-blowing, making people mind-blown because you are showing them insights. You're helping them see beyond the veil or see seeing things from a different perspective. And these are things that hadn't even occurred to these people. So they're, they're realizing they totally underestimated you. Ace of Swords. They're seeing like your power and your strength. In the past, you may have been insecure. You didn't know who you were fully. So you may have put up with a lot of things. You may have brushed a lot of things under the carpet you couldn't see beyond the veil yourself but now you do you've cut a lot of people off this is you being authentic you speaking out your truth 
again I feel like they're realizing that there was so much more going on within you that you just weren't showing in the past they assumed it meant that there literally just wasn't much going on in your mind they may have thought you were unintelligent they may have treated you as such but this is clarity um, you shining out your authenticity your truth and people seeing this clearly and again this has been really cutting really shocking to some people and they can't believe like you were hidden in plain sight or you were hiding yourself away not because you're being manipulative for or um doing things for negative reasons it was just maybe your shyness or you feeling uncertain of yourself in the past we have the fall i'm telling you some people are feeling like the fall they know they made a fall out of you sorry they made well they may have done they know they made a fall out of themselves in your presence it's like they totally underestimated your intelligence, so they were acting in ways which weren't all that great, shall we say, because they thought it would go under the radar. You wouldn't see clearly. You wouldn't be able to read between the lines. You wouldn't be able to see their intentions. And they know now that they were the one who was looking like the fool. They thought you were the fool, but they were the ones that looked like the fool in the end. And they know that you saw this clearly and they're, they're worrying about what were you thinking of them. Because it's now they're like looking up to you secretly. These people probably wouldn't admit this, but now they're, it's like they're worrying about, oh, what did you see about me? What are you thinking about me? The Fool. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. They see you as someone that's very blessed. They see you as someone who is deeply in touch with the divine and you are receiving your divine inheritance. This is you, them seeing you receive, um, I heard, justice. But also you are favoured by the divine because you have been benevolent you've been loving in some cases the, these people may have thought you were weak because you were giving your heart like you're such a loving person they saw this as a weakness they saw this as um something they could take advantage of they they thought that you weren't very wise in this world because they were mistreating you and they felt like you couldn't see it and maybe you couldn't initially but eventually you did eventually you knew this was an injustice but they thought you were the fool and that you couldn't see anything about them um and that you being so loving so generous like you being there for them they, it's like they were secretly laughing at you. They were just playing some sort of role, condescending you. They, they, they were condescending towards you, thinking you couldn't see behind the games that they were playing, but you could. Or spirit made it clear to you. Some sort of major shift occurred within you where you could see everything clearly. And spirit was, uh, I feel like spirit sent these people your way to judge these people, whether they're going to do the right thing or not. You're a very loving person, okay? If you feel like someone's giving you their heart, um, you're going to be respectful, honorable. If you equally love the, the other person, you're going to, you're the type of person who will, um, put a thousand percent in you would cherish the other person's heart you know it's a an amazing gift you won't take advantage of the situation you're not the kind of person that's like well this person's given me their heart so i'm going to try and pull the wall over their eyes and see what i can extract from this person see what i can get from this situation 
these people I'm hearing from spirit, they feel like the fool because they know that you can see that they were totally playing from their place of ego. You are now seeing them as unconscious individuals and they're realizing how unconscious they have been as well. Because you are, you are making them understand that there is such a thing as ego, which is unconsciousness, and then there's coming from the heart and the soul, which is coming from your consciousness, unity consciousness. And uh, yeah, they just took it to be a weakness within you, that you were just foolish in giving your heart and falling for their tricks and... But you it's like you've revealed the truth to them they're observing you from afar you've demonstrated and yeah like i said you were sent into these people's lives for for them to receive some sort of judgment because you were vulnerable with these people because you didn't realize to begin with that they were deceiving you so um you are continuing to open your heart be very generous and they were they had very bad intentions they were taking advantage of you using you abusing you um projecting things onto you to inflate their ego whatever resonates okay and they they were doing the wrong thing they were taking advantage of you taking advantage of the situation the dynamic Whereas the spirit could see that you were, you were just being your true self as you always are and giving your heart fully and being benevolent, being generous. This was six of, six of pentacles. You were helping these people. These people were too blind to realize how you were helping them, how your energy was um, giving them life, how your energy and was supporting them and this is the power of your light as this light worker. And they couldn't see this, so they were too foolish to appreciate that. But they thought you would never realize any of this. You would never come to that point of realization where you could see everything clearly. And you are. And they're, they're seeing how you are being favored by the divine, how you are receiving all of this abundance, everything that you gave out, everything that was stolen from you, taken from you, is also being given back to you tenfold or more. And they're left with nothing. Like they learnt nothing from the situation. So they're not receiving anything from the divine. Other than more shadow. More darkness. And you're receiving light. Positive new beginnings. Empowerment. You've learnt a lot. Okay. They were the fool. They haven't learned anything from this. Whereas you have learned so, 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 so much. And they were seeing this. And they're realizing you were always intelligent. They were just, they were the ones that were t too unconscious to see it. They're realizing you weren't unconscious. They were. But they would never admit this to you. But you don't need them to admit it to you. You've moved on from this situation, whereas they're continuing to go through the similar or the same kind of negative cycles in their life because they're not learning anything. Whereas you're a quick learner. You have a sharp mind. They always needed you. You are always the strong one, okay? But they tried to make out to themselves, to you, to others that you needed them. They thought you would never see this, but you do, clearly. And you have the strength um, and consciousness to heal from this as well and move on. And that's also why you're open and receptive to receive so much positivity, because you've now aligned with positivity. You've been a huge success, Spirit is saying, in terms of learning from this. This is was your light test. With how much were you going to learn? You've learned so much from this. Yeah, look, judgment. They're being judged. 
they're receiving a lot of negative karma. What you um, sow is what you reap. They sowed a lot of negativity. That's what they're reaping. They were foolish. They tried to take power. They tried to be the, the powerful one in quotation marks. But it was the ego. You've made them see that, again, there's some, so, such a thing as ego. And that's a false sense of power. They see that you're the real power of light and truth and the infinite judgment you received positive judgment for your actions they've received a lot of negative the hermit this is your ship sailed away like you've moved on and the hermit is like this person or this group of people are secretly thinking a lot they're introspecting a lot about this because you really caught them off guard you have like opened their eyes, you have made them see certain things, but they're still very unconscious individuals, still very negative individuals. So they'll still be playing these games of manipulation and trying to make out to themselves that they're the powerful one, that, you know, you're the fool, other people are the fool if they're these empaths and they're giving and loving and kind. Again, seeing that as a weakness in others, but it isn't. It's how they gaslight themselves to feel good because they don't know how to be benevolent. They don't know how to be conscious or in the light. Six of Cups. This is your celebration. This is you. In some cases, if, if it resonates, this divine inheritance that is coming in is you aligning with your soul tribe, maybe a soulmate or a twin flame. Knowing who your true friends are, being supported by genuine people. You may have gone through Tao moments, some of you, where um, this um, showed you who your true friends are. So some people may have fallen away, and that's a blessing in disguise. But this is celebration, spirit cheering you on. A lot of positivity, harmony, love, healing surrounding you you moving more and more into this vibration rising up ascending very very powerfully so why else are these people speechless what else has really um shocked them about you let's look at these cards why are they shocked right now what are they observing in you hero and heroine for some of you it could be um, them witnessing you and a divine partner, the hero and heroine, the divine masculine and feminine. For others of you, you could be the divine masculine or the feminine. And they're, they're just seeing you transcending obstacles very easily. They're seeing this strength, this indestructible nature within you. It says passion for a journey of personal empowerment. They ne never thought you would overcome this. They thought that you'd be crumbled, that you, like I said, wouldn't be able to see clearly that you would take it all personally. Because this person, these people were trying to make you feel small, trying to make you feel inadequate, unworthy, foolish. They were condescending you. Um, and it was all to inflate their own ego. They know that you could see this clearly and you know this clearly. So they're seeing you as very strong and they're intimidated by you, okay? Because they thought you would be so easy to crush. Like I said, that you would take everything so personally. But you see everything as a learning opportunity. You are like, you were like the hermit going inwards and reflecting and you were like, what am I supposed to learn from this? This is happening for a reason. Like you are deeply connected with the higher dimensions. You know that this is an earth school. You know that everything happens to help you learn. What can you grow from it? And this is your accolades coming in, okay? All of this abundance, six of pentacles, six of cups. You are receiving these accolades, spiritual accolades. And rising up and uh, yeah they're intimidated because they thought they could crush you they thought that they were crushing you but it's only served to make you 10 times stronger 
and more wise and um, it's cleared a lot of karma for you. It's got you on track. It's got you into alignment, balance, harmony. Um, it's got you to where you need to be to have a, a lot of freedom from a lot of anxiety or a lot of self-doubt or lack of confidence that you once had. This really pushed you over the edge to make you face your fears and it forced you to have to create that confidence within, that stability within and you've done it. So this has led you to a path of more stability so you can be open and receptive to receiving this divine inheritance. So these people are watching and witnessing this from afar. Mediator. They're seeing that the divine, for some of you this really does involve a divine counterpart. They're seeing that the divine is protecting you both, supporting you both, guiding you both to um, ascend these obstacles because this represents duality okay this false matrix is the idea of duality and all of the heaviness the falseness the false perceptions that we accumulate it's a dense energy um, but they see you both rising up making this density smaller like dissolving the illusions and meeting in the middle they see the divine is really helping you both to meet in the middle Gift for negotiating fairness. They're, these people are witnessing you being very fair, being very emotionally strong, emotionally um, balanced. You have a lot of emotional maturity. They took your emotions as a weakness. They tried to manipulate you through your emotions, through your feelings for them, through your compassion that you had for them. They used that to try and blind you so they could extract a lot of things from you, especially for their ego. Um, but they see you as being extremely strong and balanced when it comes to emotions. So you used your emotional intelligence to not get too sucked into this situation, to not be crushed or crumbled by it. Again, you used your um, intuition to guide yourself through the lessons here and come out 10 times stronger. A gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life, respect for both sides of an argument. So yeah, they also see you as someone that's very patient. Um, they were, they may have been trying to push all your buttons and do things to get you in your emotions and emotionally unbalanced so that you would react either through jumping through hoops to try and appease them and get them to love you more or accept you more or they are pushing your buttons to try and push you out of character to try and make you do foolish things so they could use that against you and none of this worked okay they're realizing now for some of you if it resonates that you never fully fell into their trap they're realizing that they were the foolish one because they thought you'd fallen for their um, facade, hook, line and sinker. But some of you, your, your intuition, your inner knowing is so powerful that you never fully fell into their trap. You may not have known how to have healthy boundaries or stick up for yourself to be able to free yourself from that situation initially, but they're realising that you never fully fell for their lies. And that, again, this is them looking back at past situations and knowing that you clearly could see how much of a fool they were being. And uh, they can't stand the fact that they couldn't crumble you. They couldn't fully trip you up into being emotionally reactive, being emotionally all over the place and reacting from that instability. They couldn't do it no matter how hard they tried. Therefore, they couldn't trip you over into too much unconsciousness. They couldn't defeat you. They couldn't get their ego inflated to the amount that they wanted it to be. They couldn't completely control you. And now, in hindsight, through time and space, they can see this clearly. They can see how conscious you are, how you've used this experience to make yourself become even more conscious. 
And again, this is why they're intimidated by you. Because they can't crumble you. You're too emotionally aware. You're too aware of your own thoughts, feelings and observing those. Through your soul. Like you are observing your thoughts and feelings, your mind. You are this, the infinite indestructible soul. Being the observer um, of the mind and your emotions. And they're in awe, in a way. They would never admit this because these are the types of people that are extremely emotionally reactive. They take everything personally because they've built up, up this false ego. So it is easily triggered. The ego is easily triggered. But you're not like that. Storyteller. Ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. Like they're witnessing your intelligence, your emotional intelligence, because for some of you, you are going out and trying to help others. You may have been through a lot of trauma and you're helping others who are going through similar situations or similar trauma um, through expressing everything you've learned. You express your emotional intelligence. You express the wisdom that you've garnered from all of these situations. And again, they're feeling like the fool because if they'd really taken the time to look beyond their own ego, they would have been able to consciously see the depths of who you really are. But they were too wrapped up in their own stories um, that they were trying to project outwardly onto you, onto others, onto everyone, that they were the ones that un were unconscious. That self-delusion was deluding them from being able to see the truth. Um, these people will be like, that. they will say that you're just making up tales about them. That's for them to protect their own story of who they are, you know, the mask that they wear, the, the multitudes of different masks that they chop and change depending on who they're with. But they are seeing that you are deeply connected with, with the infinite, your subconscious, you have a deeper connection and you are you have these amazing skills to express this deeper layer to everything, to bring it up to the surface, to help yourself understand more deeply and maybe others, if you're helping others by expressing this wisdom. What else are they witnessing in you? Scribe. It's interesting because there's a book here as well in the Storyteller. It says preserving knowledge and information. Yeah. They're understanding that you've learned numerous, numerous, numerous things from this situation. So much. Um, and you're preserving this information through expressing it. You could be writing it down. Some of you, you could be writing a book or something about this wisdom. But you are getting this wisdom out. That again, they'll be saying that you're altering facts, you're telling a story um, just to make yourself sound good, just to try and make them look bad. But that would be them projecting what they do to their victims. So scribe, preserving knowledge and information, sharing this knowledge. At the bottom of the deck, we have mystic. Revels in intimate union with the divine. Yeah, this is the deeper connection that they didn't take seriously. They may have played along with you. And if you'd said you're very intuitive or you're psychic or whatever, they would have played along with this and been like, oh, yeah. But the, again, they're feeling like the fool because you now prove this to be true. And they just thought you were foolish and not very intelligent because you actually believe this about yourself but now again they're feeling like the fool because they're seeing all of the truth behind this because they feel naked and vulnerable and exposed because you just see the truth 
they again they will be saying oh you have this delusional report with the divine you're a delusional foolish person making out your psychic or really believing your psychic but they know you are and this is what i mean about how you've opened their eyes to things that they didn't believe or didn't know were there like a deeper realm and they're intimidated as well because it's like they're understanding a bit more about karma or that spirit really does support light workers so i feel like you've you've uh, put some fear into them because th they feel like they have to be extra careful in the future about who they victimize because these tower moments that you create for them could happen to them again and they're understanding that spirit is really um, watching out for the empaths and yeah it could be their downfall at some point so what else are they seeing witnessing about you your confidence lights up the room so this person or these people would have tried to knock your confidence constantly it would have been insidious they would have constantly been doing things to make you undermine, to try and undermine you, undermine your confidence, make you doubt yourself, trip you up, like I said. But they realise you're unstoppable. Your confidence lights up the room. They're seeing you shining even more brightly. And this is intimidating because when somebody cannot be controlled, when someone is in a, the light of consciousness and isn't afraid to express their truth, they know that if they come towards you, they will be exposed. They will be like Dracula in the sun. They're fearful. You know, these types of people, they can go to, they can relocate a lot. They can cut people off, move on and go to people that don't know them at all um, because they're afraid of um, people like exposing the truth to, to their new victim. You may have witnessed this with these people. They're like avoiding people from their past like the plague. It's because they, they have to, you know, avoid people from their past because those people from their past they're afraid will expose them to their current victim you're not afraid to be yourself this is something these types of people can't stand about you because their whole life is about them wearing a multitude of different masks because they need people, they need to deceive people to extract everything from them in order to survive. Because these people cannot create and especially cannot sustain stability. They're very destructive. So they destroy everything that they come into contact with eventually. So they're envious. They, f they have to be a constant mask. Whether everyone they meet, they have to be a false self all of the time. And they're envious of you being genuine, being free. They're envious of the powerful connections, the true genuine connections that you have with people. Because of your authenticity, you're not afraid to be yourself. They're terrified to be their self. They're terrified of their true self being exposed. Your opinions count. I'm telling you, these people would have been condescending you, making out that you're worthless, that you have no real value. But they're really, really witnessing how people highly value your opinions, your insights, your wisdom. 
because now you're unafraid of being your true self. You're allowing yourself to shine so powerfully because you've created, you've reached, attained a lot of self-confidence through having to face like your biggest fears in this situation and come out the other side. Seeing at the bottom of the deck, you are a superhero. Like you have abilities that they didn't even believe were real. Indestructible. And they're seeing that genuine people, they all love and appreciate you. This is what these types of people are envious about. Like I said, your genuine um, relationships, your, the genuine love you experience in all kinds of relationships, they likely tried to destroy all of those relationships because if they can't have it, you can't have it. If they can't have it, no one can have it. You inspire everyone around you. A lot of people have witnessed you go through hell and back and um, they see you as that indestructible superhero kind of <laughs> energy. You inspire everyone around you. Your opinions count. People, These people feel like fools are okay because they're knowing how deeply a lot of genuine people respect you and look up to you. You and how you inspire people. People take you seriously and they're feeling like the fool because they were so unconscious they didn't take you seriously. And then it's created a lot of towel moments for them. And like I said, now they're aware of how intelligent, clear seeing and conscious you are that you could see through them pretty much the whole time. And they feel exposed, they feel paranoid and embarrassed i feel so if this really has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here i really do appreciate it take care bye